Well, snakes on a hey, plane. Hey, you know what? The no, actually, I was just thinking really. of something. You know the worst thing that's ever Air come Force out of One. Australia? Yeah, it was alright. Mozza. Well, yeah. besides Mazza, the worst thing that ever uh, ever has come out of Australia, Linden. Mad Max Fury Road. Linden. At, see, that's more of a Hollywood movie, and that's why I fucking despise that piece of shit. Mad Max Fury Road is an absolutely absolute awful movie. Disaster. It's terrible. It, it has the it has the weakest the weakest main character I think I've ever seen in a movie. Horrible like, story. Oh, man, had horrible character movie. development. The screenplay was horrible. Awful. Like everything uh, about it was dog shit, man. Oh, uh, you know what they should have done in that movie? Uh, cast Michelle Rodriguez as the character. Let's call it Mad Michelle, because yeah. that is yeah. Dude, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. And this pisses off a lot of people. Fury Road does more damage to Mad Max than Last Jedi did to Star Wars. Ooh, it, absolutely. There's no coming back from what they did with Fury Road. Mike's silent about this. They they Fury actually Road is they, dog they, shit. they totally cucked Mad Max in that film. It destroyed what the whole remember the whole pro the whole premise of Mad Max is it's post-apocalyptia, right? Right. Yep. There's no fucking petrol. We see the using fucking rags to soak up little bits of petrol. Yeah. Right? Because there's no supplies, nothing. It's running around with fucking cricket pads to protect themselves and shit, mate. There's and Mad Max, left. Mad Max is such a bitch in that film that he was on the front of a car pretty much the entire film. Yeah, chained hey. up and all that type of thing. I don't I mean, know. Like, I mean, like, there's supposed to be like no supplies, nothing left in the world, except the chick has a Darth Vader arm. That yeah. works. How the f what? The whole thing is that everything about that movie from start to end is terrible. The, the movie ends the way it should start. The start of the yeah. movie is him totaling the car, this, crashing it, destroyed, man. Like, yeah. dude, that's how a Mad Max movie yeah. ends with him fucking up the car and then walking off in the right. wasteland. That's right. how it ends, not how it starts. Him having a, a blood bag attached to him and him sitting there. Like, dude, in, in Mad Max 2, he is handcuffed. Well, fucking humongous is going on his rant. Just walk away. I'll give you safe passage through the wasteland. We know that's bullshit. I'm gonna you, kill you and you again. But just mm. walk away. All I want is the petrol. While that whole speech is going on, Max picks the lock because he used to be a cop. He picks the lock and he blows the whistle. You want to get out of here? You talk to me. In that Max Fury Road, he can't even take a fucking mask off his helmet. He's scratching at it like a fucking tie. Like Aah! he's. It's a completely different character. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't yeah. know how to drive. It's so all bad. gone from start. It's to and yes max absolutely. has like someone someone told me it might have been mike is that you can have a good character with like very little dialogue and that's true but they did not do it correctly in mad max fury Road. the silent protagonist is a like literary and movie trope and it's a good one if you do it right it, yeah well, you do it right, was, yeah. wasn't done right in mad max fury Road. <laughs> it was not done right he was a cuck in that movie. That whole movie just so how extreme can i go on your channel because i have a lot of opinions about this movie oh, dude that whole fucking movie a little bit, but yeah let's yeah. let's go to pg-13 yeah with the oh, words <laughs> not with the feelings there you go so there's a part of that movie where you know during like mardi gras where there's the certain females on bikes yeah, yeah. that's in the fucking movie yeah mm -hmm. they're the main they're, they're better than max in that whole Oh yeah! Movie. If they if if they made it like a weird like spinoff film that was focused on them, it would have been a better movie. Do you know what that movie should be called? There and back again, because half the movie they get to where they're going and turn around. <laughs> <laughs> there's supposed to be no petrol in this world, and there's fire, flames coming out of monster trucks. Ugh. Water. In Mad Max Two, he has to turn off his um his turn off his supercharger. Water. Yeah, what it's, it's all fucking terrible, man. It's the worst fucking movie I've ever seen. I hate that movie. Yeah, passion, I, man. dude, I hate that movie so much. And 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 what's the name of the guy that plays four again? Chris Hemsworth. F you, Chris Hemsworth, you sell out piece of shit. I fucking <laughs> saw what you said about the upcoming Mad Max spin-off movie, The Furiosa. Like, where the fuck is Furiosa oh, getting a spin-off? How does Furiosa get a spin-off? Wait, before? wait, they're making, a, they're they're making a spin-off spin -off <laughs> movie about Furiosa? About maybe, Furiosa. Maybe, maybe, and maybe Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth is playing Furiosa's butler. Why is there a butler? Again, oh, the whole so, world so is Chris moot. Hemsworth is basically just signing up to be another bitch boy again. Exactly. And on the fucking interview, he said that he loves Mad Max. It's one of his favorite franchises of all time. You lie, piece of shit, fucker. If it was one of your favorite franchises of all time, you wouldn't agree to do it. Chris Hemsworth really, I think he really likes to be 
cucked a little bit. He's been in. He was in Ghostbusters. He was a complete bitch boy in that. He was in um, the uh, uh, Men in Black International. He was totally just a little a little bitch in that. He's probably going to be a little bitch in uh, the Thor: Love and Thunder. Probably. Film. What do you mean, probably? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He. he absolutely. <laughs> totally. And then. Uh, and so. And then Furiosa. Oh, dude. Oh man. It's crazy. Wow. This is your fault, man. Yeah. You fucking did this. I did this. I created. This is your fucking fault. Created a disaster. Fury Road is like that. I don't even have to say anything. Any stage, and I'll tell you how bad that movie is, man. Uh, right I remember, I remember when the going. Oscars were happening and all that stuff, and Ben and I, we were, Ben and I were kind of like on track watching all the different films that were going to be like the best picture nominees and all that. And we got to like Mad Max Fury Road, and we were both like, "Wait, how how did this movie get on the on the docket?" And we were both just like the entire award ceremony. We were like, "Please, not not another award to Fury Road." Are you kidding me? It was ridiculous. Mad Max One and Two, perfect. And perfect. Yeah. Um, Mad Max One. He actually doesn't talk a whole lot in Mad Max One, and he's hilarious. not really the main character. Like the movie portrays Goose as the main character right up to the point where Max fucking goes mad and flips out. Um, Mad Max Two, as good as sequels could possibly be. Mad Max Three, whatever, mm -hmm. pretty forgettable. But Mad Max Four off a fucking cliff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like my personal favorite is the first one. I love the first one. Second one is amazing. But uh, no, nah, Fury Road. Fury Mike, Road and, Mike uh, what do you think on. about Fury Road? Yeah, Mike, what do you think about Fury Road? You guys have done enough talking about it. Nope, <laughs> we can move on. We don't want to get into this. What do we think about? We don't want to roll hmm. into this one. <laughs> I'll loft you pixel this shit. I'll go toe to toe with all three of you. I'll take all three at the same time. You dogs. <laughs> I'm just going to leave with one final thought. You're about... leaving? No, I'm not leaving. I'm saying I'm going to leave this no, conversation. No, you should. No, you fucked up. You should leave. <laughs> Is that... Just turn your camera In off, terms man. of protagonists that don't have a lot of dialogue, K from Blade Runner 2049 was a 10 oh million times more compelling oh character God, than dude. Mad Max was in Fury Road. Oh my fucking God, dude. Facts. It's well, just what about fact. the quality of villains, man? We went from Toe Cutter, who was and does that thing that's just amazing and still freaks me out to this day, man. Gonna cut your face off where he does that. Uh, then you had the great Lord Humongous, ruler of the wasteland. Yeah. And then you went to Tina Turner, who is already a bit warm. And yeah. then you go from that to Immortal Joe, which it just doesn't make sense within the universe. It completely fucks the whole continuity that Immortal Joe could even be a light. He's got like a fucking Darth Vader respirator system keeping him alive, mm -hmm. like motherfucker. There's fucking nothing to sustain that in the world. All the supplies Ooh. are gone. It's funny because I think Lethal dislikes this movie a lot more for Lord reasons than Josiah and I. Because we don't know anything. I don't know any freaking anything about the Mad Max lore. I just didn't like the movie because it wasn't good. Yeah, uh, it's a bad movie. It's just a it, despite of how much it fucking screws over Mad Max, it's just a shit movie as well. Yeah. Well. That's bait. I disagree, but that's fine. It's okay. Lair and back again. It's Lair and back again. It's okay Turn to be around. wrong, Mike. Ooh. It's fine. I think the cinematography is phenomenal. The set pieces, the design, the editing, all of it's phenomenal. But, you know. Yeah, but you clap at the end of movies, don't you? <laughs> well, all three of us clap at the end of movies. We all admitted that. That's true. <laughs> I'm not Jeez. saying that it is... I don't think Fury Road is the best Bad Max, Max, Mad Max movie at all. I think the other three are way better. But if this is a standalone story that is a reboot, which is what he kind of envisioned it as, um, I thought the cinematography and stuff should be praised for what it is. I thought the sound design, everything about the movie, as far as from a technical standpoint of movie making, I think it's a masterpiece. I don't think the story is very good. I don't like Furiosa even as a character. I do think that it doesn't do Mad Max justice like he should be. And the fact that they had to try to justify the story tells me that the story is not good. But See, as far to me, as from a filmmaking standpoint, everything that went um, into that, I think, was really done. Well done. Like so to me, a, a masterpiece is like a film that is pretty much perfect in every way. I said that the I cinematography just, is a is a like cinematography, like directing wise, but the story is not good. I mean, I'll, so I'm not calling I, I will the movie say a masterpiece. The cinematography is is good in it. Okay, I, I'll say ma ma master class. How about that? It's a master class in cinematography and shooting. I mean, the set design alone is really good. The fact that you could take all the CGI out of the movie 
and it still holds up as a I, film, I think should be considered and appreciated for what it is. That's why I can't say it's a bad movie. The storyline is garbage, and as a Mad Max film, does not hold up compared to the other ones because Mel Gibson is Mad Max, mm-hmm. hands down. It's not Tom Hardy. I, it's, I don't it's think... But that's just me. But there's a lot of movies that can look good and be good in different well, areas like that and still be terrible. But I hear I'll come in with the like even last higher. Last Jedi, Last Jedi. I mean, from like a visual standpoint, it does look really good. Last Jedi looks good, but it doesn't like. I wouldn't say that it sticks out in any way, shape, or form. But, and like, if you were to watch Mad Max, no sound, ignoring the story, and just watch the cinematography and the editing and all of that, you could learn. I'd a be lot bored as a in about five minutes. You could learn but, a lot as a filmmaker, regardless of whether you're. The fact that they took a bunch of old actors from the first two movies, maybe even the first three movies, and had them playing different characters. I didn't. That's why I think he was trying to do like a reboot of Mad Max. I think that that's what he was trying to go for. And he was trying to honor the previous characters and established characters. But that's the thing. I mean, he, you know, I don't know. I I just don't think it's a bad movie. I just don't think the story. And they had uh, Quentin in it, who's. um, I also don't think it needed to be made. I mean, I I I don't think it. I yeah, but and I also agree. Is wicked, though. There were better movies that came out that year. What year did that come phrase. out? Uh, 2015. 15. Was it 15? Uh, that sounds about right. I don't know. Yeah. But all I'm gonna say about that is, I think that technically it's fine, but I can tell you right now, 2015. There, are far, yeah. there is other cinematography that I consider far more memorable. I don't remember a single shot, really, from Mad Max. I the only that shot that's still that reasons. is still ingrained in my brain is uh, uh, Tom Hardy strapped to the front of a car because he and... was strapped to the front of the car the entire freaking. <laughs> no, movie. he wasn't, Ben. Damn it! He's strapped to the front of the car for the first act of the movie. That's but... basically the whole freaking movie. That's not the whole freaking movie, Ben. <laughs> you not know how act structures movie. work in movies, Ben? No, it's basically the whole movie. You not understand how? Maybe act it's structures the movie work. was so freaking boring. Maybe it felt like your opinion <laughs> is now completely, <laughs> no. completely suspect. It's not just because I thought Mad Max was a trash movie. Yeah, well, because you keep talking about how you felt about. Well, I felt I was bored and stuff. That doesn't say anything about the cinematography uh, not being good. It was all right. It was good. Um, yeah, that year the Revenant came out, the Martian came out, uh, the Big Short came out, Spotlight came out that year. Spotlight's incredible. Um, the Room came out that year. Also incredible. So Creed came so out that come year. Out the same year. Uh, so yeah. that was a heavy hitter of a year. Yeah. yeah. But every single one of those movies yeah. you mentioned was better than Mad Max. Yeah. I disagree. Fury Road is fucking straighty baller, bro. Yeah. I mean, listen, that's fine. You guys are allowed to feel however you want to feel about it. I just think saying it's a bad film and ignoring what, like, the cinematography and stuff in it is not fair. So. Yeah, I just don't think that that's, like, enough to, to like, be like, oh, this movie doesn't, shouldn't get any criticism because it's, like. I never said it shouldn't get criticism, though. I never said that. I said that saying it's an object, saying it's a bad movie. But when I say like, oh well, I thought the cinematography and stuff was really good. Everybody's like, no, the movie sucks. Did we well, say that? Did we like, say I'll that? And, yes. I'll try, and meet the, I'll try and meet in the middle, Mike. I I I literally it? agree with you that that. But Ben been was... like, the movie sucks. How would well, you yeah, rate it as right. a Mad well, Max movie? Bad. As a Mad Max movie, it's a <laughs> it's probably a two out of ten. Okay. I'd give it a two out of ten. As a as a film alone on its own, I'd probably give it a seven out of ten. But like. As far as the directing, the editing, the sound design, the set design, all of that stuff, I think that that movie is amazing. I think it's extremely well done. There yeah. wasn't like there it, it wasn't a cash grab. It wasn't like there was no care put into the movie. The story was sus was not good and was suspect, but the movie had a lot of effort and work and care put into it and a lot of thought put into it. So I appreciated that part of it. I think it goes Mad Max. Mad Max 2, about Mad Max 3, and then all the fucking way in the darkest depths of fucking goat ridden hell. You go a little bit further, then you find Fury Road. Yeah, I didn't feel <laughs> the love true. in that movie. 